Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm bringing you my lip balm gift box. So it has a cute little wrap and then inside is a little box that houses, whoops, a lip balm. Um, it fits just nicely in there and would make a great little Father's Day gift or even maybe a stocking filler. Oh, dare I say that this early in the year. Um, but yeah, a cute little, a cute little um, gift. Um, it does have quite a few measurements involved, but you know we'll work our way through them, and hopefully you'll uh, you'll quite like it when we've finished. So let's get on with it then. So to start off with, then we're going to go with the wrap. So that's the long piece that's obviously wrapping around the box. Um, it needs to be eight and a quarter by three inches, which is twenty one by seven and a half centimeters. Now I know I've become a bit of a a nuisance with doing this but you will need your trimmer again for these measurements so for your wrap on the long side you need to score at three and a half inches and four and five eighths which will be uh, nine and twelve centimeters I'm going to just pop that to one side because I will need it again I'm just going to fold and burnish those two score lines and I'm using Poppy Parade on this one not a colour I've used for a while but I do like it okay detailed trio punch just to round the corners and do the same on both sides just takes off those sharp edges okay so we have them two both have rounded ends and then we need our DSP to go on top so I've got two pieces of DSP here that are three and a quarter by two and three quarter inches or eight and a half by seven and okay I don't quite know why that's slightly bigger than the other one that's interesting let's have a little look and see how very strange okay well anyway so I'm gonna just round the corners at the top of the DSP. Like I said, why my mine are slightly different in sizes, I have no clue, but we'll run with it. So there's my DSP that I'm simply going to tape onto the box. So that one go on there and likewise I love this DSP I just think it's so bright and like fun I really like it so pop that one on there and obviously if you've got one that looks nicer than the other or you're happier with it more than the other one we'll go with it as the front so to decorate the front, and I'm going to do this now before I make the box up, just because it will be easier and it will give it time to dry. So to make the front up, I have embossed the a piece of real red with the Argyle. Why on earth? Why don't I have that out? I have no clue. Bear with me one second while I just find it. This is bizarre because I normally have everything I've used ready and together but it's disappeared, completely disappeared, so I don't know where that's gone, but it's the ab absolutely Argyle embossing, oh, it's here, it's hiding, absolutely Argyle embossing folder, so it matches this DSP perfectly anyway, so I've used that to emboss just a little piece of Poppy Parade, I then need my <sighs> golf club dies, and what I'm going to use here is the coat of arms shape to die cut that. And I've also got the sort of the wreath type piece. That's right, I'm just moving some of the bits out of the way. And some garden green because I want to cut that out at the same time. So I'm just going to grab my die cutting machine. I'm just going to quickly run these through. So I've already embossed my poppy parade and I just want to die cut a piece and then I want one of those in garden green too. 
It's just a scrap bit of paper I have there. Let's run those through, take them out, and then get rid of this. So we don't need this anymore. Okay, so there's my ooh, there is my shield coat of arms embossed, and here's my cute little wreath bit cut out ready and then what I actually grabbed was the country club elements and I actually just want one of those <laughs> so I've just taken that out and then I'm just going to add some snail on the back of here to pop in the centre just about there and then I did actually use my fine tip glue pen. I'm on a bit of a wobble here, aren't I? Fine tip glue pen and I just simply dotted along the main part of it and then I just stuck this around shield let's give it a little press down and then on my wooden element I used some memento and I used my itty bitty greetings which I thought was really quite cute and I used the scent with love just there and I actually stamped directly onto the wooden element. There we go. And then I added a couple of, I did add a couple of glue dots. And then that just sat across there. Okay. So I'm going to come back to the twine bit in a moment because I'm just going to leave that for now and we're going to make up the box. So the base of your box, you need a piece of cardstock that is awkwardly 2 and 15 sixteenths of an inch by 4 and 13 sixteenths of an inch or if you prefer 7.5 by 12.2 centimetres. So let me just move that out of the way. So I'm going back in with my trimmer and because this is the base, I can score this on my trimmer at one inch on all four sides. Thimbles. Well, and that's obviously 2.5 centimetres, as we should probably all know that by now. So I'm going to give this, oops, a fold and a burnish across all sides and then we're just making the basic box so we're just going to trim wedges out of the four squares in the corners and then just adhere it together easy as that a basic box Okay, um, where are we? Oh, it's there. So I'm going to use my tear and tape because I want this to stick and hold. I'm not going to use wet glue because I don't have the time to just wait for it to set because I'm impatient. So I'm just going to stick uh, my tear and tape onto my little tabs here and while I'm here I'm also going to run some across the bottom because this is going to be stuck to the inside of the wrap so let's give that a trim um, piercing hope piercing tool is hiding so let's make our box up first so backing off 
and as I said it is just a simple box nothing technical or difficult here other than those ridiculous measurements but sorry blame Nivea and their lip balm because that's the size that I went for <laughs> so simply making this up oops okay so that's made up nicely my lip balm sits in there like a dream back in with my wrap backing off and then this will sit just on that base that's the front okay so let's make the lid then so for the lid you will need a piece of cardstock that is three inches by four and seven eighths of an inch which will be 7.7 .7 by 12.4 centimeters this is also going to be scored at one inch but if i'm hoping my measurements are spot on i did this so that you wouldn't need to use a shim and you could do it on your trimmer but we will find out in a moment if that's worked so one inch on all sides which is 2.5 centimeters get rid of that and out of the way fold and burnish and exactly the same as the base that we had so exactly the same let's cut the wedges exactly the same on all of the four corners as I say we're just going around done done and done okay then we're going to add our DSP so you will need oh, two teeny weeny tiny pieces that are three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch or randomly two by 2.2 I don't quite understand that point but that's how it works for centimeters and then you need three that are two and five eighths of an inch by three quarters or seven by two centimetres. Oops, get that off there before we all get stuck. And the last one on that side. Then we need a tear and tape to pop it on those little tabs again. last two oh, crumbs come on don't play you up now we've got this far okay and because that one's a bit messier I'm gonna do that end first and you know how I do my lids so once you've done the second one I'm gonna hope and pray so this will now sit nicely on there take the backing off these are the ones the beauty is that if this lid is a little too big or too baggy etc etc then at least we know it will stay on because of the wrap oh my crumbs it does work yay she did it <laughs> so my little lid will now sit nicely on there this will now close up to hold it in place so but we need to add some of that gorgeous twine don't we because we have three beautiful colors but you know what i'm actually going to be contrarian i think i'm going to use the green one i think the green one will look lovely on that yes 
So back in with my new, ooh, my newly purchased, seriously heavy cropper dial. And I actually used the larger punch here. And I also put my marker where I wanted it to go. So hold this together, pinch it together, and then I literally went down as far as the um, marker and I went in by three of the um, diamond shapes. Goodness me, it's been a long day. So I'm going to do exactly the same with this one. And what I also noticed as well was that it actually lined up with the top of the wreath. So both of them now actually line up with the top of the wreath, which is even better. Some of my beautiful twine. And I just fed it through. And fed it through here. Oh, crumbs. That didn't work out so well. Come on, come on, thank you. And then as you know me, I always have a little peg to hand to hold it together while I just tie my bow that I'm fairly certain won't play games today because they never do. Okay, and then we can take the peg off, centralise the bow, have a little play around, make sure it's the right size etc. It's not quite as tidy as I wanted it to be, but oh wait a minute, let's try oh look, let's try that. Let's pull that one down here a little bit. Oh you know we can fiddle with bows, can't we, for hours. But that's not so bad. I'm just gonna trim those tails slightly and then that can sit either side of the sign. And there you have it. There is your lip solve wrap. Hope you like them. Hope it's given you some inspiration. And I hope to see you all again soon. Bye.